Good morning, guest army. What is good? Excuse my voice. I am still kind of sleepy, but I am going to talk to y'all today, vlog with y'all a little bit today, because that seems to be what y'all like to see on this channel more than like the, you know, planned out version of it all. So we're going to vlog today and we're going to talk about some things that I've been going through mentally, physically, emotionally with my transition out of the army um, and like what I'm doing right now. So I currently, where my tea go? Oh yeah. <laughs> I currently just, just now I made my tea. Um, today, this morning we did green tea with lemon and um, before I got up for my tea, I, you know, woke up, I woke up around 6.50, but I didn't really get started with like my morning meditation that I do now, um, where I write in my journal and I read for like 15 minutes. Um, I do that every morning now and I affirm in the mornings and the evenings now because of some of the things that I've been going through um, since since you know really finding out that my career will be ending soon so <sighs> so there is that um right now i'm going to head to work although i am technically off of work because i'm in this internship called the career skills program i'm doing it with a small business so i'm in that right now but one of my soldiers is re-enlisting and i really want to be there for that so i'm going to that then i'm gonna go to the gym but I'm going to attempt to talk to y'all on the way to work because it's like 30 minute, a 30 minute drive. So y'all get this tea about what has been going on. Um, so let's go. Yeah, so I wanted to talk to y'all because I feel like a, I don't see a lot of like information about like what service members go through like mentally, you know, and how that really affects their physical being when transitioning out of the army or any like institutionalized organization and I, I just don't know if I expected that this would be something that I was going through until I went through it y'all I went through so much like self-doubt self-judgment like a lot of that to the point where I was was and still am still I still am overcoming some of these insecurities but where I was re really insecure like about what my capabilities are like okay you know you know the army kind of lays things out for you as far as your career progression so as long as you on this path you know you can pretty much call yourself successful right it's all laid out for you but you know moving into the civilian sector I just know that that's different. Like, there's not a, there's different companies have different timelines, you know, and uh, progress as far as progression and promotion and things like that. So, I got really overwhelmed with what path I wanted to go down because I am a multifaceted individual, but I do also know that I've been in one particular job you know for the past eight years so that's where my experience lies professionally as far as like education and everything goes but you know I've also been an influencer for the same amount of time so it's 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 like should I just go straight influencer slash entrepreneur slash creative you know to keep on my grind you feel <laughs> Or should I go down the event planner route? Should I continue just with HR or should I do operations? Because honestly, operations has been what an officer deals with on a daily, daily basis. Like you are always immersed in operations management. So I just have been like, oh, you know, I don't even know how to explain it. Like, I've really been been putting myself down in what I'm capable of, you know, because of what I've known, not just since I've been in active duty, but my mom was military. Obviously, I did ROTC. So, a lot of this is just 
like I'm feel, I feel like I'm getting rid of a part of my life that I've known for so long so I guess what you could call that is I mean you could really just call that change right like and it, and it had me looking at myself and you know I guess right now I really wouldn't know I really didn't know what self love was until this huge change came about my life like I was like dang girl you realize you you know you probably loved yourself a little less than you thought because after you know doing research and stuff the love that you have for yourself that shouldn't change based off of like what your status is or you know what job you hold or you know what rank you have like you should love yourself for every part of your journey and everything that you go through and I was realizing that that self-doubt and that 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 judgment that I was casting on myself that ultimately projected that I ultimately projected onto others, um, you know, that's lack. That's a lack of self-love. You know what I'm saying? Like a lack of love for myself because I know and I know that I'm capable of so many things, and the people around me have pushed me and encouraged me and told me the same thing but you know you don't believe that crap until you believe it you know what I'm saying like oh thank you thank you but until you really believe it yeah, that, I don't even, that half of that crap half of the stuff they're saying won't even resonate with you so I've really been working on introspection and like making sure that I really lift myself up through this time because it's hard. I mean, it is hard. You're literally, you know, going through a life change. Like, you've been, I've been in the military, like, I've had a military background for my entire life. And I've actively served in the military for over eight years, um, excluding four years of ROTC. So, come on. Like, it's definitely, has been, it has definitely been a lifestyle, you know? It has also affected my physical, like, I wasn't motivated to work out, you know. Um, low libido, like, I just didn't understand how much this process was really affecting me until I started writing my thoughts down and, like, really getting in tune with myself and my emotions. And it also caused me to sever relationships that I've had and this would probably be the this is the first time in my life that I would say that I regret like you know that severance um because I was doing nothing but projecting my own insecurities and no evidence no evidence proved no evidence proved that you know the things that I was saying or the things that I felt were the reason uh, or to continue to pursue that relationship were true. None, none, no evidence showed that it was true. And after looking internally, I was like, girl, what way you thinking? <laughs> so, um, so I want to caution y'all on that because I went through it and I don't want y'all to go through the same thing. But you know, everybody has their own process and how they go through but yeah so that's what I wanted to really say is like it's a process y'all and be aware take steps to protect your mental your physical your spiritual all your comprehensive fitness go to therapy like continue your treatment your medical care as you go through this process and transition use all the resources available to you SFL tap resources certification resources, hiring our heroes, any resources available to you, use them to help you with this transition. That's why they're there. The people in this world felt the need for that when they were transitioning out and they created such amazing resources for us to use. So get after and use them. Okay, I'll say this. 
this is what I want you to affirm while you are going through this process, right? I want you to affirm that, you know, while this experience may be rough, you are going to come out on the other side better than ever, okay? You are going to come out on the other side better than ever. Your goal is progress and not perfection, okay? You don't have to come out working your dream job and in the career of your life, you know, but your goal is to get there. And I feel like Although I felt like this timing was a little faster than I wanted it to be. Here I am. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like it will all work out in good timing. You know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah. With that being said, y'all, I'm about to head into this enlistment. Yeah, you know, get into this gym or whatever. But I wanted to talk to y'all about that, you know, Les Car Chronicles. Like I used to do back in the G for all y'all. His army. Up in this mug. I used to do my car chronicles like this all the time headed to work. So, I mean, I'm not going to commit to doing that. But if y'all like these videos, be sure to obviously thumbs up the videos so that I know to add them more into my schedule for content. But yeah, headed into work now, y'all. See y'all in a little bit. So I've made it to Target workout complete. Um, I meant to tell y'all that I absolutely missed the enlistment ceremony because I was late by like five minutes. And the enlistment ceremony be like five minutes, obviously. But I made it to kind of mingle and say hey to my soldiers because I miss them so much. If y'all are watching this, I miss y'all. I'm going to be back in a month, period. Um, With that, I'm about to go into Target because I need to get a new toothbrush. Um, new travel toothbrush actually because my junk like two, three, go no, it's actually three years old. That's nasty. But it's my travel toothbrush. I don't use it all the time, so don't don't do that. And then I need to get some peroxide and some oil potentially. So we gonna see if I can walk out the store with it. Okay. So, what I neglected to mention was I did have every intention of going into Starbucks and getting me a coffee. What you gonna do? Um, but yeah, so I got me a coffee. And she spelled my name with the I-E, period. Because what else? How else can you spell it? Um, and I uploaded a video to TikTok. So if y'all aren't following me on TikTok already, please go ahead and follow me. Your girl hit 35K yesterday. The goal is 50K. So we on the road, baby. As for what I got from the stove, I got some fabric softener, the toothbrush, and some wax strips. Now, I'm gonna go back and see what I told y'all I was gonna get. I know I said something about some oil, that I didn't get because I was like, if I'm getting something else, then I'm not gonna get the oil because I don't really need the oil. It's just kind of going rabbit. 
I'm gonna close this vlog out here. I wanna say thank y'all so much for watching to the end. Again, if you watch to the end, comment hashtag OG Vets, okay? OG Vets, period. Cause y'all watch to the end, y'all rocking with me. Y'all really trying to F with your girl, all right? And you know, I will see y'all on my next upload. It is your girl, Les Latrice. And remember to always protect your...